Dear friends, we are glad to welcome you at online meet and greet day of Moscow Aviation Institute. My name is Natalia and I work in the international department. I am responsible for students' admission. Today we will tell you about Moscow Aviation Institute, its schools and programs. We will speak about the educational process and the admission. Please feel free to ask any questions in the chat and we will answer them during the stream. Moscow Aviation Institute is a leading aerospace university in Russia. The university was established in 1930 and since that time it has been one of the largest universities in the world. MAI has 12 schools which cover uh, the full life cycle of aviation and space technology development areas. Today, MI is a center of uh, development, forecasting and creation of new technologies. And now I invite you to watch a video about the university so you may see it for yourself. What is the Moscow Aviation Institute? Moscow Aviation Institute is one of the largest technical universities in Russia. Students from more than 70 countries study within its walls, preparing to shape the future. MAI is a unique ecosystem located on almost 1,000 acres in Moscow. An ecosystem focused on the creation of technology and the raising of talents that can change the image of entire industries. MAI is a place where new knowledge is generated every day and technologies that will determine the face of tomorrow are developed. These are the laboratories and centers of excellence working on complex programs in the area of aeronautical engineering, UAV, composites, additive technologies, advanced engines, small spacecraft, controls, mathematical modeling, artificial intelligence, and many others. Programs are run in close cooperation with leading companies of high-tech industries. Specialists, but also by the students. At the university, joint teams of students and staff develop aircraft, satellites, new software products, and unconventional solutions to complex problems that modern science faces. MAI presents unique English language bachelor's and master's degree programs in the areas of aircraft, spacecraft, and propulsion engineering, as well as control systems and computer science and engineering. To provide the best learning and working experience, MAI has created a unique infrastructure, state-of-the-art laboratories with real aircraft equipment, flight simulators, a flight control center, a full-scale model of the orbital station ALMAS, engine models, supercomputers, modern software, and much more. MAI has its own unique approaches to training. Studying at MAI goes beyond lectures and classes. The educational experience of each student is personalized as they take part in real scientific and industrial projects, form their own startups, intern at MAI laboratories, and centers of excellence. Students with leadership skills attend the MAI Management School, working on prospective projects alongside professionals from industry giants. MAI has an extensive network of international partners. Students participate in academic exchange programs at leading universities of Europe, Asia, and Latin America. Together with its international counterparts, MAI hosts numerous double degree programs. MAI is an opportunity to build individualized learning paths. There is a wide range of special elective classes for students in English language programs, from digital production to UAV design. To determine options that are better suited for one's professional goals and aspirations, students are mentored by leading scientists and leaders of advanced engineering projects who are always ready to offer their help. MAI is not just about study but is also an ideal place for you to nurture your talent and truly shine. Students from across five continents compete and win as part of over 50 MIA sports clubs, from cheerleading to rugby. Project teams come up with unique solutions at the regular hackathons and competitions that MIA hosts. Dance competitions, stand-up shows, theater, our own stage provides an opportunity for everyone to find a place for self-expression, create development, 
and just have a good time. MAI Campus has everything for comfortable living, self-study and creativity. Cozy dormitories, recreation areas, co-working spaces, a whole network of various cafes and so on. The campus is located almost in the centre of Moscow. Pubs and museums, nightclubs and art spaces, parks and restaurants with any cuisine one can imagine, high-scale festivals and global sports championships, concerts, performances, musicals, exhibitions, tournaments and sports you haven't even heard of, just you name it. Moscow is a comfortable and safe city where life doesn't stop for a second. MAI is the start of a successful career. MAI values its partnerships with high-tech leaders. It is the key element of the university's philosophy. MAI is a major supplier of highly qualified professionals for the numerous sectors of the economy. Anyone can become part of the great MAI family by submitting their documents and passing the online entrance exams. Because MAI is the ticket to your future. Today we invite professors from four schools and they will tell you about features and opportunities that our students have during their education. Please welcome our first speakers. Uh, Mr. Guarez Jahid, Associate Professor of the School 1 Aircraft Engineering. Hello. Uh, Mr. Alexey Zarechensky, Deputy Head of the International Department. Hi, welcome. And Mr. Karolyov Nikolai, Lecturer of the School No. 2 Aircraft, Rocket Engines and Power Plants. Hello. We have many speakers today and the representatives of uh, other schools will join us later. Uh, first of all, I would like to give the floor to Alexei and uh, he will make a presentation about our university. Thank you, Natalia. Well, as you could see in the video which opened our event, today Moscow Aviation Institute is a huge polytechnical university which provides full competences in the major fields of the industry. And uh, here you can see 12 schools of training that are not only focused uh, on aviation, but also on other prospective fields. All these programs are available in Russian medium. And before that, you should study at our pre-university program to learn Russian language. But within this event, uh, we will focus and learn more about four programs which are taught entirely in English medium. These programs are aircraft engineering, propulsion engineering, control systems and computer science and engineering, and spacecraft engineering. All programs are available both for bachelor's and uh, master's degrees. And uh, we understand that today's situation in the world uh, and the industry is changing very fast. That is true for education as well. Uh, that's why a very important feature of education at uh, MAI is flexibility. Individual learning path gives the opportunity for students to determine their needs and uh, adapt their programs to them. What it looks like? Uh, first of all, the programs are implemented on a system of models. For example, for bachelor's, first two years you have basic training, which is unified for all these four programs. And next two years you have special disciplines in accordance with your field of study. So if during the first two years you've got some new information and you want to change the direction of training, you can easily do it. Second important thing uh, is elective courses, which you may choose according to curriculum and build your own uh, path according to your needs or even to needs of your potential employer. And uh, one more important thing um, that uh, lets us make our education more flexible and customized is additional courses at our centers of competences. And uh, a little later I will tell you about it more detailed. And now let me tell you a few words about every program. As we all see, the aviation industry is in constant search of better aircrafts. And school number one, aircraft engineering, is the place where we train highly qualified personnel for the needs of the industry. We may see here main research areas, 
aircraft design, helicopter design, specific airborne complex design, aircraft certification, aircraft aerodynamics, and flight simulators. And here we can see some carrier perspectives. These aircraft manufacturing companies with headquarters not only in Russia, but in China, India, and global world players are the potential employees for graduates of aircraft engineering school. And by the way, our rector, Dr. Mikhail Pagasyan, alumni of School 1 Aircraft Engineering, was the head of two companies, which uh, logo you can see here, Suhoi and United Aircraft Corporation. And the fact that our rector is the person from the industry, former top manager of huge aircraft manufacturers, explains our deep connection with the industrial partners. School number two, propulsion engineering. The curriculum combines best traditions of the Russian engineering school and the most advanced approaches in design and operation of different types of engine systems. Research areas are following engine design and construction, solid propellant rocket engine engineering, electric jet engines, high frequency ion thrusters, plasma coating technologies. And the career perspectives, getting back to the one of the strongest benefits of Moscow Aviation Institute in comparison with other university is uh, our very close relationship with industrial partners, both in terms of scientific activities and in terms of practical cooperation, we work closely with most of these companies. School number three, control systems and computer science in engineering. This program is designed in an aerospace context in the most technologically advanced level. Research areas are the following. Information technologies, programming, control systems, avionics, positioning and radio informational systems, cellular and space communication systems, instrumentation development. As career perspectives, graduates of this program may consider companies with which design and uh, build uh, electrical systems and uh, provide services for aerospace industry, as well as IT companies. Next school is spacecraft engineering, space communication systems, satellite navigation systems, spacecrafts, rockets. This is what spacecraft engineering is about. Research areas, design and construction, control systems, ground operation and maintenance, thermodynamics and heat transfer. By the way, here and on previous slides, you can see pictures from our laboratories. So all the space systems are located here at MAI and students study right there. These companies, which logos you may see here, based not only in Russia, but also in USA, Europe, India, other potential employers for graduates from spacecraft engineering school and the uh, interesting fact, uh, Moscow Aviation Institute is in the second place in the world after MIT in terms of the number of graduates who have visited space. And uh, getting back to the flexibility of your education at Moscow Aviation Institute, let's look more detailed at our additional courses which are available at our centers of competences. These are prospective fields of study, which are in high demand in the industry, and they go beyond your curriculum. But they are available as additional slots to make your educational path maximally customized for your needs. Uh, for example, product lifecycle management, the concept and stages of lifecycle, stage gate technology, or unmanned aerial vehicle, classification of UAV, ecosystem of UAV, international practices in UAV application, UAV design, or additive technologies and 3D printing, tools for 3D model creation, basic additive processes, technologies and materials, and many more prospective fields of study, which you can see here are available for our students. So I hope now you've got a primary understanding about our programs, which are taught in English medium and about individualization of the educational process at MAA. And uh, further, during this event, uh, my colleagues, representatives of their schools, will provide you with full information and I hope you will get better understanding what Moscow Aviation Institute is and it will help you to make the right choice. Thank you. 
Thank you, Alexei, for this informative presentation. As Alexei said, we have 12 school, uh, schools and uh, you may apply to a wide range of programs. But today we will speak about four main schools and their programs. And today we will start with uh, the school number one, Aircraft Engineering. This is the largest aircraft design school in Europe. The program Aircraft Engineering is the most famous among our foreign students. Uh, the program is meant for those who wish to invent new flying vehicles, to create new airliners, uh, and mend aerial vehicles, discover new principles of fly mechanics and structural engineering, and for those who wish to create the future. And today, Guarez Jahid represents the school number one at our event. Jahid applied for aircraft engineering program back in 2008 and during the education he worked at engineering center Airbus Russia and started to teach aerodynamics to MAI students. Now Jahid is full PhD and an associate professor of the department design certification of aviation equipment. Jahid, why did you choose Russia as a country for your education and why did you decide to stay at Moscow Aviation Institute after your education? Uh, hello everyone, uh, thanks so much Natalia for inviting me to uh, this event. Um, actually I, was, I happened to be living uh, around Moscow in the time back when I applied in 2008. Um, so uh, probably Russia has chosen me, not I've chosen uh, Russia to uh, make my studies here. And nonetheless I had the opportunity of course to um, go uh, apply for aviation studies somewhere else in the world but I uh, believed in the Russian uh, aviation technology and in fact my first encounter uh, of uh, the Russian uh, aviation technology was at the popular um, air show, the MAX, back into the 2007. I was a little boy, but I was deeply impressed by uh, the uh, state of the art, the scale, uh, and um, uh, the, uh, all of the types of the aircraft that has been uh, developed in Russia in the past and developed right now. I mean, every, uh, there are very few countries in the world which have uh, every type of aircraft uh, from the smallest to the most, one of the most heaviest uh, aircraft in the world uh, fully designed and uh, produced here. Right? So I applied for uh, the aircraft uh, engineering in 2008 and after five and a half years of studies and in parallel I worked on campus in uh, the Student Design Bureau and a little bit in the international uh, department as an international uh, programs coordinator. And uh, after that uh, I graduated with honors, uh, the Red Diploma, which we call in Russia. Um, and I was immediately granted uh, a scholarship to follow my PhD in Mai, so that's how I stayed here. And um, the first years of PhD were a little bit challenging because I was working in parallel uh, in the engineering center of Airbus uh, in Russia, the ICA center, which is here in Moscow. Uh, and uh, the challenge was because it's difficult to combine uh, full-time work with PhD studies, and eventually I had to make my mind whether to stay in industry or um, come back to school and finish PhD, right? So it was a very difficult uh, decision because if uh, I come back to school, I would lose uh, my job at uh, such a cool company like Airbus. And uh, if, at the same time, if I uh, stay there, I would never finish my PhD. So it was a very difficult decision. And uh, with, with some uh, financial support from my family, I eventually decided to come back and finish um, PhD. And I found uh, academic research to be really uh, way more uh, innovative and uh, less routine. So because science is always uh, on the leading edge of developing the technology while engineering is a little bit behind. So um, engineering is quite a little bit routine as compared to, for example, uh, academic research. And uh, after that, I was granted a permanent residency in Russia as because of my uh, red diploma heritage. And um, I suppose this was a very good uh, initiative back in the time to uh, help uh, successful students stay here. and. Uh, I hope in the future more international uh, teachers, scientists, engineers would help uh, to develop a uh, knowledge-based economy in this country. Yeah. And what subjects uh, do our students uh, of the first faculty study during the education? Uh, well, in our department, aircraft design or aircraft engineering, depending <laughs> on how good the translation is, we have uh, the focus is obviously from the name based on aircrafts, and by aircraft we mean uh, flying vehicles with aerodynamic flight principle. Uh, so uh, everything that flies that it is not a rocket is considered as an aircraft in our language. And uh, by aircraft design we actually also mean that the engine is excluded. We design the aircraft uh, taking in mind that it has an engine, but everything that happens inside the engine is not um, excluded, it is not included. And um, apart from that what is left is the shape of the aircraft and 
the structure of the aircraft, right? And here we have uh, a lot of uh, sub departments, chairs, in fact, 10 of them, right? So we have, for example, the, the first chair of aircraft design, which is the main one, uh, helicopter design. Uh, so helicopter is also considered as an aircraft, by the way. Um, air aircraft aerodynamics, aircraft flight dynamics, uh, and uh, aircraft uh, manufacturing technologies, and some other uh, chairs as well. So speaking about designing uh, the shape of the aircraft, for instance, uh, we have the aircraft aerodynamics department, which is concerned about uh, having uh, the best shape for, for example, having best lift to drag ratio and so on. So um, in this department, we have uh, two industry scale uh, wind tunnels, uh, one subsonic wind tunnel, one supersonic wind tunnel, and we have also an HPC cluster, a high performance computing uh, system uh, for making computational fluid dynamics, CFD. Uh, computations and uh, other departments include, for instance, uh, the aircraft design department, the first, which is the first chair. Um, so in this in this department, uh, the main concern is about designing the structure, with the shape taking being in, uh, taken in mind uh, as well. Uh, so in the first three years, at least, uh, students study in most of the chairs at the same time. Uh, so we have to learn pretty much everything about the aircraft. And in, only in the final years, the focus is around the topic of uh, the uh, chair itself. For instance, you start with, if, uh, if the student studies aerodynamics, then the focus on the final year is going to be about the aerodynamics. And the final thesis is also going to be uh, written and defended right in this chair. Right. Mm, thank you. Mm -hmm. And what career opportunities open up to our graduates of the first school? Uh, so as, as I've mentioned uh, in the beginning when talking about my own story, there are two classical uh, career paths for um, aircraft designers. And the most uh, straightforward and uh, obvious choice is working in a design bureau as a design engineer. And uh, here the main competencies that companies require is uh, computational aided design software, the CAD software, the joint software like for example Kiria V5, SolidWorks and so on. Uh, so uh, having a good command is the minimum requirement for applying to such jobs. And uh, the other alternative career paths include, for instance, uh, either uh, academia research or research in the industry, or, and or, in fact, you can combine both if you're uh, quite skillful and lucky. <laughs> and uh, there are some other career paths, uh, obviously, for example, entrepreneurship, because starting your own company in uh, any uh, business that has to do with mechanical engineering with an aircraft mindset is also a very good uh, thing. And I have friends from uh, China, Brazil, uh, India, uh, and in Europe, including in uh, Poland in particular, which um, uh, could, uh, which have been successful for uh, staying in aviation, working in uh, aviation uh, companies, and um, by having a uh, the competencies of an aircraft designer, you can also work in any um, other mechanical engineering um, companies, right? So for example, like automotive, uh, even the sports industry today is uh, quite uh, high tech. And uh, there are some uh, other opportunities as well if uh, you say in aviation. Uh, and uh, let me add a few words. Um, we'll take a look from a little different angle. Um, for example, uh, I see four ways uh, of career opportunities for our international students. Um, first is to stay here at MAI and to work at the laboratories and uh, like Jahid uh, does. Um, the second one is um, you can stay here in Russia and work um, in industrial company, in Russian industrial company or in global company. Uh, almost uh, every um, global company have an office in Moscow as Jahid um, did in Airbus. Uh, third way, you can um, go back to your native country and find job here or you can uh, go anywhere all over the world and um, in Europe uh, in UK in USA um, and get job there because uh, our diploma is very well recognized all over the world and um, if to look a little deeper I think that um, our main goal as a university is um, to prepare you for successful career, for successful future. Um, and um, we at the university are very interested to, to have uh, our alumni all over the world who achieved some success and who are proud that sometimes they chose the MAI as the university. And uh, that is why our education is so such um, industrial oriented and uh, customized. Uh, that's the reason why um, when you graduate from MAI, you already have a strong uh, basic um, knowledges and uh, you really know some industrial cases. 
That's why the main idea which you should uh, keep in mind about your career opportunities is that uh, being MII alumni means being in demand. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> thank you. Uh, guys, I see uh, some questions in the chat. Uh, uh, from Indian and uh, Nepal students about the admission and the admission terms. Please wait a little. We will speak about the admission procedure in general and I will explain you the uh, terms of the admission just a little later. And also we have a question about the accommodation. Uh, Alexei, uh, please tell to our prospective students about the hostel that we proposed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Uh, so uh, we have a hostel for international students. It's located not far from here, around 30 minutes uh, by public transport. Um, students live in blocks for, uh, with two rooms for two and for three people. Um, they have uh, one bathroom for the block and the kitchen on the floor. Um, they have some um, extra curriculum Possibilities like working, uh, playground, uh, where they can spend their free time. And uh, a good news, I think, uh, for you that uh, this year we uh, are planning to renovate our hostel for international students. So very soon the conditions are going to be much better. And the um, hostel fee is 19 US dollars per month. Yes, and I want to add that our hostel is located not far from the university. You just need 20-30 uh, minutes uh, by tramway and you will reach to the university. For Moscow, it's not uh, so long, um, so it is not far from the university. And also we have a question about how much money does a student spend on one month in Moscow. Um, in fact, uh, for daily needs like transport, food, um, uh, some entertainment, uh, clothes, you need uh, from 200 to 400 US dollars per month. Everything will depend on you. But um, for students, there are many discounts in Russia and in Moscow especially. For example, um, all students in Moscow have transport card and you may use uh, any, um, any transport for one month just for 10 US dollars per month. And uh, we also have some discounts for museums, cinemas and others. And now let's speak about our second school, Aircraft, Rocket Engines and Power Plants and its English medium program, Propulsion Engineering. Engine system is the heart of the aircraft. Propulsion unit is one of the most advanced and the most expensive part of the aircraft. Mr. Karolyov Nikolai is a lecturer of the Department 207, Metrology, Standardization and Certification. He graduated from school number two in 2013. After two years, he received his master's degree and for, in four years qualified as a teacher, as a researcher. Nikolai teaches Metrology, Standardization and Certification course, Certification of Gas Turbine Engine and con uh, Quality Control course and Aircraft Power Unit Tests course. Nikolai, tell please to our candidates about the program Propulsion Engineering and the second school in general. Okay. Thank you, Natalia, for introduction. Um, so, institute number two, or school number two, aviation rocket engine and uh, power plants, uh, trained specialist in uh, bachelor and uh, master degree. Bachelor of, uh, for four years and uh, the master degree for two years. Um, our institute uh, consists of uh, seven main departments. Uh, they are cover a uh, whole life circle of uh, gas turbine engine, uh, beginning from the mathematical model uh, and drawings uh, to, um, to testing, aircraft certification tests, and uh, quality control of manufacturing uh, production. Uh, our educational the uh, process is uh, based on uh, achievements of uh, uh, national and uh, foreign uh, knowledges uh, in the area of uh, aircraft, uh, gas turbine engine, and uh, uh, high-tech instruments uh, for development. Um, uh, that's why uh, we are working with uh, students. Uh, we are working with um, uh, uh, leaders of industries uh, such as uh, Central Institute, uh, named after uh, of motor uh, of uh, motor development, uh, named after Baranova, 
um, then we working with the um, uh, NPO Energomash and uh, the center of um, uh, aviation motors, uh, motor uh, development uh, and other uh, institutes. Uh, so I think uh, one of our um, uh, best thing in our institute that uh, uh, most of uh, all most of our teachers uh, have a wide experience uh, in this in this science in that science. They are working in these organizations uh, and um, and can uh, give students uh, the uh, idea how to work with. Uh, in these processes, uh, what the next, sta uh, next stages, stages will be um, in, uh, aircraft, in engine development. Uh, so um, we have, uh, uh, first of all, uh, we have fundamental uh, subjects uh, in our institute, in, in the program, uh, such as uh, thermodynamic, uh, gas dynamic, um, uh, uh, thermal uh, mass dynamic and um, that uh, give uh, students the idea uh, about the internal processes um, in the engine, how to work with them and uh, how complicated it. Um, other uh, disciplines are at uh, uh, calculation of uh, durability, uh, understanding uh, the stress uh, calculation uh, to predict uh, the all problems that can occur in the engine and uh, uh, tell, uh, tell the customer um, they give the customer appropriate service um, we have the same and other subjects is the uh, plasma theorem uh, uh, we have the theory of uh, fire chambers and uh, a lot of uh, modern subjects that can cover uh, some parts of uh, different uh, stages of life cycle of engine. Um, maybe after this education, our um, our students, um, and of course uh, with the great uh, with the motivation, the proper motivation. Uh, without it, uh, it can be done. Uh, they became great. Uh, high educated specialists uh, that, uh, that are widely uh, demand uh, not only in uh, air in uh, aerospace uh, uh, industry but also in um, uh, manufacturing technology in, uh, in manufacturing technology engineers uh, in uh, power engineers and um, as well as the oil and uh, uh, gas industry and uh, maybe some words about the programs. The uh, bachelor program is ba uh, is aimed at um, uh, is um, a theoretical uh, basis of um, the engine. Uh, it's the calculation of its uh, calculation of its uh, thrust. Uh, it's, uh, it's again the uh, durability. Uh, they are understanding uh, what parameters will we get if we produce. Uh, uh, in these uh, sizes and uh, the amount of the blades in the engine. Uh, so the understanding of uh, all theoretical and um, uh, environmental characteristics of our engine. The master degree program uh, is, on, uh, is based on the, uh, uh, more at the exact um, um, stage of the on the circle. Uh, so, for example, if we talk about the uh, manufacturing uh, program of uh, the master, we will talk about the uh, new uh, modern technology of production, manuf new manufacturing technology. Uh, if we talk about the, uh, the testing, it's the uh, test benches and uh, uh, a new uh, measuring system and uh, a new system for uh, providing a great result and uh, a lot of uh, new materials about it and um, I think uh, for this kind of it's all. Yeah. Okay and what competences do students acquire during their education and how these competences will help them in their future career? Uh, they take a lot of uh, 
uh, competence and uh, the skills. Uh, first of all, uh, during the education, uh, they will use uh, different uh, software, and uh, they use this software not uh, by the books. Uh, they use uh, it uh, by solving uh, a real problem, by uh, simul uh, simulation and uh, uh, simulation uh, modern uh, ideas of uh, aircraft engine. And uh, it's really helpful uh, for them in the future career at all. And uh, the second that I can tell you is that uh, they, are, um, they know, will know the methodics, uh, how to calculate uh, their uh, engine parameter, uh, how to work with the processes, and um, uh, new uh, modern technology. Uh, the third one is that we uh, they can work with uh, in innovation uh, in innovation projects uh, because they will know uh, where we have uh, what characteristics of the engine we can achieve and uh, what uh, the cost of their customer needs and uh, what people wait from their uh, engines and their engine parameters. Um, about the opportunities for career, I can tell that uh, every career starts uh, from the education. Um, it's uh, in all uh, industries and uh, in its all areas of uh, knowledge. Uh, so um, the faster we will learn uh, something, some disciplines, the faster you understand um, understand the logical process in your company. Uh, there. Uh, more uh, the higher effect uh, will be in your career, uh, and uh, all knowledge that you get uh, in Institute Number Two uh, will help you uh, not only uh, not only uh, make this process faster, learn fa uh, for process to learn faster, uh, but also uh, working by yourself, uh, create the pro create the new processes. Um, and um, show you that you know some, that you understand something, and uh, you can uh, give another uh, view of uh, development of uh, aircraft engine and uh, power plants. Okay, thank you, Nikolai. Guys, as you see, uh, at Moscow Aviation Institute, theoretical studies is integrated with practical training, and we also have internships. No, not we, but our students have internships there during their education. Alexei, tell us please more about internship and what it is and how it is organized. Mm -hmm. uh, so we uh, for sure understand that um, internship is a very important part of uh, education, one of the most important parts. And um, um, as we're saying, our students are very well prepared after working with real industrial cases and um, how we achieve it. So there are a few ways, uh, few places where you can uh, take uh, uh, internship. For example, at MAI we have our experimental plant where the students uh, are taking internship. Uh, we have a drone school. Uh, or maybe you could um, have practice not in MAI, but in uh, one of our industrial partners, for example, um, Wimpel um, Enterprise, it's a serious company which produces rockets. Uh, or S7 Airlines, it's in Russian aircraft companies. So, mm, yeah, I think this is it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have a question from Turik Ahmed Anik about spacecraft engineering program. We will speak about this program a little later, so please wait, and I wish you good luck. <laughs> um, and also we have a questions, many, many questions about the online education. Um, is it going to be online or due to COVID-19 or not? I may tell you that everything will depend on the epidemiological situation in Moscow in September. Uh, but the pandemic has made all of us to change our lifestyle. Close international borders uh, were affected the education as well. Uh, but the Moscow Aviation Institute takes, takes care about uh, their students. 
and we understand all risks and worries about our uh, of our students and their parents and we are always ready to adapt to new current situation. Alexey, please tell to our prospective student about uh, new academic year, will it be online or not, and how did uh, the academic year 2020-2021 was uh, organized? Uh -huh. Well, uh, so let's begin from this year. And even from last year, when we faced a new problem, COVID-19, we, I mean the whole humanity, not only MAA. So we needed to have some new decisions because we understood that uh, we were not sure that uh, the students will be available to arrive at Moscow in September or October. So. Um, uh, Around this time last year, we uh, began to prepare a new product for English medium program for bachelors and masters. It was called first uh, semester online. Uh, now it turned to first year online. So um, it, uh, we prepared uh, um, new infrastructure. We prepared the system which allows um, uh, international students uh, stay at home, and uh, we created multimedia complex here at MIA and uh, we pre-record pre um, video lectures and we have live streams with uh, students and teachers. Uh, it's practical. Um, uh, so speaking about um, the year which is coming and how the education uh, will be organized, uh, we have a good experience. Uh, we see the um, feedback and we see the um, uh, the students uh, are happy with the, um, this online program. So, in any way, it doesn't matter if uh, your country, uh, country's border is closed or not, you may arrive or not, uh, you will have um, the full education according to curriculum. It uh, doesn't matter if you will be able to arrive at Moscow or you will stay at home. So, uh, we'll keep you in touch and uh, for sure we'll, we'll uh, monitor the situation um, and uh, but do not hesitate it's not a problem to enter a university this year because you will have the education in any case and now we propose you to watch our video about online training at Moscow Aviation Institute today more than 1,500 international students from across the globe attend Moscow Aviation Institute. Freshmen from over 50 countries joined the MAI family in 2020. The worldwide COVID-19 pandemic and border closures did not stop the students from starting their classes at MAI as the educational programs successfully launched in an online format. Classes in more than 30 courses as per the curriculum carried out using the LMS MAI and Microsoft Teams platforms. To account for the differences in time zones, a new timetable was designed to suit the needs of all students. Lectures and practical classes are recorded in advance, allowing the students to plan out their personal schedule and re-watch the recordings if needed. Over a thousand hours of study materials have been recorded for the two semesters. Two dozen faculty members took part in the preparation of courses, exhibiting professional prowess in an unconventional method of delivering the material. The LMS MAI and Microsoft Teams systems allow students to personally communicate with their professors regarding any arising issues. Final exams are held at the end of the semester and include both written and oral tests involving direct communication with the teacher. Online studies at MAI are a great opportunity for students from all over the world to receive a degree from a leading high-tech university in Russia while staying safe at home and confident in the high level of education they're getting. Uh, as you see, even if you are not able to come to Russia and you will stay in your home country, you will get all lectures and seminars according to the uh, standard curriculum. You will stay in home, in safe, and you won't lose a whole year. Uh, watching the news, you may see that Russia starts opening its borders gradually. 
I do hope that the starting vaccination program all over the world will let us meet, in, meet each other in person as soon as possible. And now I would like to speak uh, to introduce you our new speakers from school number three and school number six. Please welcome Mr. Keino Pavel, lecturer of the school three, control systems, informatics and power engineering. Hello. And Ms. Marzuhina Alona, lecturer of the school six, aerospace. Hello. Uh, we will start to speak about the school number three. The control systems and computer science and engineering is highly appreciated by our international students. The school number three, control systems, informatics and power engineering, is the largest school at our university. Mr. Pavel Keino is a lecturer of the Department 316, System Modeling and Computer Added Design. He is a PhD in Software Engineering, Supervisor of Master's Program Development of Higher Performance, performance internet services and he is also a founder of Owen Internet Startup Conference Laboratory. And just imagine Pavel in the past was also an MAI student. After the defense of the PhD thesis, he became a lecturer of the computer systems course. Pavel, tell please our candidates what is the advantage of school number three and what skills students get studying uh, at control systems and computer science engineering program. Um, thank you for such warm uh, introducing. Um, I would like uh, to say that uh, uh, school number three uh, is uh, really big and uh, uh, first of all, um, our uh, major skill that uh, uh, every student uh, should have is uh, system thinking because uh, um, our school is about fundamental uh, engineering and uh, uh, system thinking is very important, especially if uh, a student um, after graduation uh, would, li would like to uh, work at, uh, as a system architect. Uh, for example, uh, I am a supervisor of a master's program uh, project, projecting of uh, high performance uh, internet services and uh, uh, it's very important uh, to build uh, the system that could uh, we stand uh, with uh, high, high load and uh, high performance uh, and so on. So uh, we have a lot of uh, properties uh, uh, that uh, we should provide uh, to make a system stable. Uh, and uh, student who uh, who will who will get uh, system thinking uh, will know how each component of complicated system uh, will interact uh, with uh, each other. So. <clears throat> and of course, I think uh, uh, very important uh, property is scalability because uh, if uh, we are not providing scalability, our system will uh, could not be uh, ground anymore. Uh, so uh, we will uh, stuck, uh, and uh, uh, of course, it's a waste of money, and we should uh, redesign the system uh, from scratch. Uh, uh, and uh, I think uh, we should uh, hire a new system architect for sure. So uh, I hope um, our uh, institute um, uh, teaching a good uh, uh, teaching a good skill, uh, training a good skill in uh, uh, such field, uh, and also. I, I would like to say about a second important skill is algorithmic uh, uh, thinking because uh, I think every engineer uh, should uh, sh should have uh, a skill of uh, composing uh, simple program programs uh, just uh, to uh, resolve uh, some uh, routing tasks that uh, he is uh, facing up uh, every day uh, because uh, uh, algorithmic thinking, it's not about uh, software developing, it's uh, uh, about uh, solving uh, engineering task, of course. And uh, I should say that uh, <coughs> our institute uh, training um, students uh, not only uh, for aviation but uh, also for um, uh, civil com companies uh, in uh, that related with uh, microelectronics, uh, with uh, uh, computer-aided design uh, and also usability, uh, ergonomics. Uh, and we are training uh, skill, uh, buff skills uh, in hardware and uh, software engineering. 
Uh, does it mean that our students gain profound knowledges and uh, practical skills, not only in aviation or space uh, uh, industry, but um, uh, these uh, skills give them extensive uh, career opportunities in other uh, high-tech industry um, where automatic control systems engineering is applied? Uh, yes, of course, because uh, uh, it's uh, mm, aviation skills, uh, aviation engineering uh, uh, education is uh, a very high level education. So uh, it's about uh, uh, durable control systems uh, and uh, reliable, of course. Uh, and uh, it's very important uh, to have such knowledge that uh, could be applied uh, in uh, um, aviation comp companies, but uh, also it uh, could be applied uh, in uh, uh, civil electronic manufacturing, for example, and uh, uh, civil enterprises. Uh, I can say that uh, I'm uh, not related uh, in uh, aviation uh, so much, but uh, I'm a lecturer uh, of uh, computer system course of our uh, program and uh, uh, my discipline uh, is about uh, computer systems in general of course it's not about uh, uh, how to build uh, uh, personal computer it's about uh, uh, low level principles of uh, computer systems uh, uh, how to uh, how, how to interact with uh, RAM, with uh, C general purpose CPU, uh, and um, with uh, DMAs channels and so on. Uh, our students are programming on assembly language, and it's very important uh, uh, skill also because uh, <coughs> Uh, if a uh, student uh, uh, could know, um, will know how to uh, program on a very low level, uh, he will um, successfully uh, will program on uh, general purpose uh, higher level languages because uh, he will know how to uh, make effective algorithms. And uh, such knowledge, such knowledge uh, uh, will be demanded uh, by many uh, companies uh, uh, that related both uh, uh, on aviation industry and uh, uh, also uh, civil uh, electronic manufacturing co uh, uh, companies as well. Uh, I think uh, uh, student uh, who will graduate uh, our program uh, could work um, as an engineer and uh, as software developer uh, and it's only up to him uh, of choosing the way uh, to develop himself uh, in future. I think uh, our main goal is uh, to provide uh, fundamental engineering education, uh, system thinking, algorithmic thinking, and uh, I think it's, it's enough uh, to get a good job uh, in Russia and abroad. Uh, so, as you may see, this uh, program will uh, give you knowledge uh, to work not only in aviation, but in other different fields. And now we have some questions in the chat. Uh, Danika Amin asks us about the entrance exams. Uh, so we have two groups of students, bachelor's degree and master's degree students. Uh, those who wish to apply for bachelor's degree program, you need to pass two entrance exams. The first exam is maths, and the second exam will depend on the chosen program. For example, guys who will, st who will apply for aircraft engineering program, spacecraft engineering program, and propulsion engineering program will pass the second exam in physics. And students who wish to apply for the program of the third school, Control Systems and Computer Science and Engineering, you need to pass maths with IT. And what about master's degree program? Students need to pass only one exam according to the chosen program. If you want to apply for spacecraft engineering program, so you will have uh, topics um, related to spacecraft engineering. And you may choose any program, master's degree program, even if you have bachelor's degree in another field. So if you have uh, a bachelor's degree in aircraft engineering, you may apply for control systems and computer science and engineering. It's okay. And also we have another question. Um, uh, Mike Luna asks about Moscow. Is Moscow a safety city? Alexei. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I, I think I can answer. Moscow, the capital of Russia. Uh, it's a large megapolis from one side, and uh, it has a very uh, old history and um, very good architecture. That's not my opinion. That's uh, what I hear from international students. And um, if we're talking about safety, um, um, I remind that a few years ago we've made um, a video with our Indian students. You may find it on YouTube. I think still you should tap uh, Moscow Aviation Institute Indians. And the girl from India, Raja Lakshmi, uh, told uh, that uh, um, Moscow is very safe for girls. She can go for a walk anytime, anywhere, and don't face any problems, any troubles. So I agree. I join her opinion. I think that Moscow is a safe city. Thank you. And we have many questions today about uh, our aerospace program. So I think that now it's time to speak about uh, this program. Space industry establishes the future of human civilization. And in Moscow Aviation Institute, we have the school number six, aerospace. Uh, at this school, we have uh, English medium program, spacecraft engineering. Uh, the spacecraft engineering is based on the uh, experience of Soviet space uh, program and the latest Russian space development. A lot of space and launch vehicles constitute uh, the laboratory research, uh, the largest sorry, educational base in Russia for laboratory research and practical training. And now with us today a lecture of the Department 601 Space Systems and Rocketry, PhD in Aerospace Engineering, Ms. Marzuhina Alona. Alona graduated from School 6 10 years ago and defended her PhD thesis and now she teaches uh, two main courses, Spacecraft Basics and Spacecraft Thermal Design. In addition to the post of the lecture, she is involved in scientific work at the department. Alona, tell, please, uh, tell us please about the achievements of the school number 6. So, thank you very much for introduction. Uh, yes, nowadays our aerospace school is a huge, uh, big uh, center for education and for the research. Also, we have an uh, interesting and the long uh, history of our school, uh, which was start with the creation of my department, 601, by the uh, famous, outstanding Russian uh, engineer and uh, scientist uh, Vasily Mishin, who was uh, the deputy and the successor of uh, Sergei uh, Korolev. And it was the start for the new direction for the new aerospace school. Uh, nowadays, we have uh, eight uh, departments of education which are cover all the life cycle of uh, spacecraft product uh, from the design and project uh, to the pre-launch uh, preparing and uh, launch uh, to the space. Also, I'm very proud uh, to note uh, that uh, our students in the last century uh, was ever first in the world who created and um, successfully launched to the orbit uh, spacecraft which was made uh, by the students and uh, this tradition now is ongoing and uh, we have our own students uh, design bureau and even our small uh, center for control for the spacecraft uh, which is possible to support up to five satellites. Uh, so the program Aerospace uh, Engineering uh, is implemented on uh, Department uh, 601. Uh, this department uh, uh, prepare high quality engineers uh, for the spacecraft design, for interplanetary design, for orbital station design, for example. In addition to the main uh, subjects which are related to the aerospace engineering, we have uh, in-depth uh, educational in such disciplines, for example, like ecology, uh, space management, navigation, uh, control and uh, life support operation. Alona, and wo where do uh, our graduates usually find the job? Uh, so as we and uh, our 
institutes uh, are followed to the um, high quality standard of education. Uh, there are a lot of uh, chief designers, managers, directors from our graduated students. Um, also, um, I would like to say that there are 23 uh, cosmonauts among our graduates. And now we have a research collaboration with the support uh, of Roscosmos uh, with the different uh, international space agency, for example, like uh, European Space Agency or uh, National Astronautical uh, Research Agency of United States. And uh, in addition, uh, it is worth to note uh, that our diploma does not need any validation because it's internationally certificated in most countries in the world. So, thank you. 23 cosmonauts is uh, really our pride uh, because Moscow Aviation Institute has the second highest uh, with this figure after MIT. But I need to add that this program is not only for those who wish to study uh, space, but um, it's not only about space. Alexei, why it is important to choose uh, aerospace educational programs? Uh -huh. Well, uh, so as Natalia mentioned, it's not only about the space, uh, it's not only about spaceships or rockets, for example. Uh, space, uh, it's about the space, um, but uh, space is much closer than we think. For example, if you have a smartphone, I believe you do, so you use geolocation or navigation, this is the data from the satellite, this is space. Or, for example, if you watching the forecast, uh, weather forecast for tomorrow, the data came, came, comes from the space. Um, so that is why you shouldn't be worrying, like, um, in my country there is no space program. It's not a problem because um, the graduates from Spacecraft University are in high demand in all high-tech companies. And we have uh, questions in the chat. Um, Sharma asks us about scholarship. Um, I should uh, tell you that the university does not provide with a scholarship, but you may try to get it, uh, to get a scholarship um, of Russian government. To get the scholarship, you need to register at the site educationinrussia.com, uh, education uh, but it will be in January or in February. For the intake 2021, the registration was closed. And please note that all this, um, this scholarship is available only for Russian medium programs. It means that for the first year you will, enroll, you will be enrolled for the pre-university program to study Russian language. And after that you will continue your education at bachelor's or master's degree. And also we have a question about uh, the pre-university program. We have it in, the, in, in Moscow Aviation Institute. Uh, we have two types of uh, pre-university programs in Russian medium and an English medium. The program in Russian medium is for those who uh, need to study Russian language because uh, they will continue their education in Russian medium program. And tuition fee for this program is 3,000 US dollars per program. The duration is one year. And the second program in English medium is for those who want to um, who understand that uh, he, have some he has some gaps on uh, some technical subjects and uh, you need to improve your knowledge in maths or physics. Uh, so students apply for this program and after that they continue their education in English medium program. And um, uh, I also saw the question about the job. Is it possible to work? Yes, uh, Shaya May. Is it possible to work during the education? Uh, yes, it is possible. But uh, please uh, don't forget that you are here for your education. And uh, first of all, you need to study. Uh, your work should not... Um, um, uh, you should pay all your attention for your education firstly. And I also want to add that, as you see, uh, there are the possibility to work at Moscow Aviation Institute in different laboratories, departments, uh, but uh, you need to show that you are a really brilliant student and I think that uh, you will um, get this chance. 
Uh, and now I want to speak about the educational process in Moscow Aviation Institute. Our candidates are from different countries where the educational process may differ from the Russian one. Now I would like to ask my colleague, Ms. Maya Kurinaya, uh, she is English Medium Programs Manager, to tell you about the educational process at Moscow Aviation Institute. The admission process to Moscow Aviation Institute is really simple. The team of the International Department will assist you at every stage. We are observing details of education process and student life at MRI. The education system in Russia is built according to the Bologna principle. Duration of study for a bachelor's degree is four years and for master's degree is two years. Each program at MRI provides a unique multidisciplinary curriculum, which consists of disciplines that need to be studied at the end of each semester. Approximately in each semester from 5 to 10 disciplines. Process of studying each discipline includes in-class learning, students' independent study, and academic internship. The base of each subject are theoretical, its lectures, practical courses, and laboratory works. In average, one discipline is two credits. The biggest part hold lectures and seminars. For the laboratory works, in average, there are six lessons per the semester. Laboratory works take place at the department or in laboratories. Lectures and practical lessons take place in the classes. At the end of the semester, a student must pass a test or an exam on, in the discipline. A Russian grading system has its own specifics. It is five points where the highest mark is five, which means successful discipline completion, and two is an unsatisfactory mark, which can be retaken three times until one of, one of the satisfactory marks is obtained. Russian system of education has some specific periods of study. For example, first-year students start their classes in the beginning of October. Then students study till the end of December. The last week of December is the credit test week. After that, students start to pass the midterm exam session. It lasts for several weeks in January and the new semester classes started in the beginning of February. The educational process of the spring term finished in the end of May. And then students have an examination period when they have to pass in time, after which they can be transferred to the next year. The period of study from the second year on a little bit different because students begin their studies on the 1st of September. The rest of the tales are almost the same as you can see on your screen. Practical training is provided for all bachelor programs. First-year students can begin their practical training up to the moment when they successfully passed summer session exams. Practical training extends from two to three weeks and takes place in the laboratories of the graduating departments. Second and third-year students have got internship on the plants at MAI. Students have the opportunity to practice at the experimental pilot plant of Moscow Aviation Institute, where they can get acquainted with machine tools for metal processing as well as CNC machines. Or students can practice at School of Robotics, where students themselves can design and assemble quadcopters. Education of master's degree students is more focused on research activities. Graduates, students of bachelor and master degrees programs do diploma practice at graduating departments. And I want to say a few words about the student life at MI. We have got many sport clubs like rugby team and football team of MI. Our international students are members of interest clubs such as the English speaking club with the Russian students where you can discuss very specific topics. Also, you can join the clubs of 3D printing school or drone school. Studying at MI is a great opportunity to bring your talent to light. MI students are always welcome at scientific conferences and forums. The most significant event is annual Gagarin Science Conference, which takes place every year in April. And of course, we have got entertaining festive events. For example, Knowledge Day on the first day of September, Halloween, the Day of Culture, Maslenitsa, Spring Festival, and so on. The motivation system provides for rewarding the best groups and leaders from each course of the English program. MI is focused on improving quality of English program student education results. 
and we want to expand the abilities for entertaining our students. Rating of the motivational system consists of attendance of classes, exemplary academic performances, participation of extracurricular activities and discipline. At the end of each semester, we award four best group leaders and four best groups with the highest number of points, the points different every year. For example, visiting the Museum of Cosmonautics in Moscow, pizza party, flying in a wine tunnel, skating ring, and much more. Thank you, Maya. Uh, all of us who will apply for English Medium program will be in contact with Maya. Uh, as I said, she is English Medium program coordinator. And now I want to ask a question from our chat. Uh, he asks us about the difference between aerospace and aircraft engineering program. Can graduate from aircraft engineering work in aerospace industry? Alena. <clears throat> yeah, uh, so in my opinion, it is possible if uh, the student has uh, the necessary skills, the necessary competition, competition uh, for example, in uh, mathematical modeling, in uh, engineering, in uh, physics. Of course, um, uh, there is, should be an additional training, I guess, but it's possible, as I see. Thank you. Uh, the questions regarding the admission and the mm, terms we will discuss just in two minutes. Let's wait a little. Uh, when students come to unknown country, they, um, for the first time, they worry about uh, how to get uh, from the airport to the university, where to, to change money and other issues. Uh, we take care of our students and we organize a pickup from the airport. Uh, we help our students to, to gain to the university and to the hostel. And I want to ask Alexei to tell, us, to tell you more about the um, about the arrival of our international students. Uh, yes, uh, the arrival of our international students is the final step um, before you go to study. So before that you apply, you send us your documents, um, you pass exam, you receive the invitation, you receive a visa, and then you finally arrive. Uh, for sure we, and also by the way, this year we have some regulations uh, regarding COVID-19 rules, so please um, take a look at our website. We uh, always have new information about open borders, about countries from which you can arrive. And for sure, please uh, be in touch with uh, our managers of uh, English Medium Program with uh, Natalia and uh, her team. So for sure, when you finally arrive at Moscow, we meet you at the airport, we take you to the hostel, and um, I think we should talk a little more about the admission procedure because it's uh, the most interested for most, most of you. So I would like Natalia to say a few words about the admission. The admission process to Moscow Aviation Institute is really simple. The team of the international department will assist you at every stage. First of all, I would like to start with the time frame of the admission. It is very strict and you can't be late. As you may see, we have two groups of candidates. If you want to apply for English medium programs or one of four main Russian medium programs, you need to finish all admission procedures till September. The academic year for freshmen starts on October 1st. For the Russian medium programs, the admission will be open till August. The academic year starts on September 1st. Tuition fee for English medium programs is the same for undergraduate and graduate programs. It is 6,000 US dollars per year. In Russia, the terms of study is four years for um, bachelor's degree programs and two years for master's degree programs. Tuition fee for undergraduate programs in Russian medium is 4,400 US dollars per year. Tuition fee for master's degree programs in Russian medium uh, are 5,500 US dollars per year. We also have PhD programs, but they are available in Russian language. For those who wish to study in Russian medium programs, we have a preparatory school with Russian language. Before studying on the basic educational program, you need to study Russian language for one year. 
tuition fee is 3,000 US dollars per program. And now, let's speak about the admission steps. First of all, you need to decide what program would you like to choose and what language of instruction. After that, you need to send us uh, two documents. The first document is your passport that should be valid at least two years uh, before getting the invitation letter. And the second document is your educational documents. For those who want to apply for bachelor's degree program, you need to send to us uh, your higher school certificate. And for students who wish to apply for master's degree program, you need to send uh, your bachelor's degree certificate with a transcript. If you are eligible to apply, you will get an application form that you need to fill in and your educational contract. You choose the exam dates that suit you and our technical specialist will help you and explain how to connect and test a connection with you. You need to have a computer, a camera and a microphone. For one exam, you have three hours. At the end of the exam, you need to scan your exam papers or make good photos, photos of them and send uh, your photos to our email. In three, five days, you will get your results. And if the results are successful, you can make a prepayment. You may make a bank transfer or pay at our site. To finish your admission, you need to go to Russian consulate or embassy in your country to make an address translation of your passport and educational documents. Candidates who successfully passed entrance exams, sign an educational documents and make a prepayment will be enrolled as MEI student for the first year. To be sure that you will cope with the entrance exams, we invite you to prepare to them. Please go to our site en.mai.ru, choose the tab Education, then you need to choose Bachelor's or Master's degree and the, the name of the program. You may see the screenshot of the page about aircraft engineering undergraduate program with examples and video, video review of the entrance exams. Please contact with us by email or in WhatsApp and we will be glad to help you to become a member of MAI family. Thank you, Natalia. So, as we see, the admission procedure is um, not that difficult. But please do not hesitate, don't wait too long. Now it's a uh, very good time to apply because we think that the whole summer, but uh, these months will pass by very fast. So, I'm giving the word back to Natalia. Thank you. Yes, guys, we will. We wait your application right now. And now I propose you to answer some questions in our chat. Uh, what is the passing mark for the entrance exams? Uh, you need, uh, you will have uh, for bachelor's degree, you will have 10 tasks and you need to get 40 points at least. Uh, for master's degree, you will have two questions and uh, you also need to get at least 40 points from 100. Uh, the second question, uh, there are many questions about uh, if I already know Russian or if I study it in, uh, uh, here in school in Kenya. It's okay if you understand that your Engl uh, Russian language level is enough for education. It should be at least B1. Uh, you may apply directly for Russian medium program without preparatory school with Russian language. But uh, please message to us in Russian language and all your exams will be in Russian language. We need to understand that you are uh, sh that you are really no Russian language. Okay. Uh, and um, Juma, uh, not sorry. <laughs> um, Sharma asked us about the. Mm, uh, um, I'm sorry, Danika. I mean, are there any outdoor activities? Alexey, may I ask you to answer this question about outdoor activities that we propose to our students? Out, outdoor activities, yeah. <laughs> well, okay. I got the question. I think um, we, we understand that um, the years w which uh, you spent uh, in university, your student years, it's not only about education. It's a very important time when you can implement yourself uh, in different areas. And uh, MAI have a, a great infrastructure for that. For example, we have uh, more than 50 di different sport clubs. 
um, we have a palace of culture where you can um, uh, implement your creativity. Uh, we have two recreation centers. One is not far from Moscow, and the other one is uh, on the Black Sea, which are available for our students. So I think we have uh, a lot of um, extracurriculum activities uh, which are available for international students as well. Thank you. Uh, another question. Uh, what is the difference between aerospace and aircraft Oh, sorry, I asked it. I'm sorry. Um, in MAI, are international and the graduate students are involved in uh, research work? Is there any support from professors? I think Pavel may answer this question. Uh, yes, uh, I can say uh, about my department, uh, we are practicing uh, project-oriented uh, education. Uh, it means that uh, all, of, uh, my st all of our students uh, are involved in uh, uh, research and uh, development activities. And uh, as uh, uh, I said before, I'm supervisor of uh, my own uh, project. And uh, it, my project could not be finished uh, without uh, helping of uh, my students. So it was also a part of uh, uh, their research and development work. And also we have uh, a lot of activities uh, in, uh, in development field uh, uh, with uh, where our projects. So our, a lot of our students, especially if uh, uh, the students uh, have uh, very good uh, marks uh, and the way uh, past exam uh, very good. We could be involved in uh, uh, a lot of our research and development uh, activities, and uh, I think uh, <clears throat> we will always uh, uh, welcome to, uh, to it. Thank you so much. Um, <clears throat> Surva asked us, um, can we take two entrance exams on different days? Yes, your entrance exams will be in different days. Uh, the first uh, exam that you should pass, it will be maths. And after that, in uh, two, three days, you will pass the second exam. Um, Bulok asks us, uh, can I do a master degree in propulsion engineering in English? Yes, uh, these four programs um, discussed today aircraft engineering, propulsion engineering, spacecraft engineering, and control systems and computer science and engineering are available in English medium for bachelor's and for master's degree programs. You may apply for English program. And um, we have uh, some questions about language certificates. As I said, you don't need to provide any certificate, but you need to have uh, a language level for Russian or for English programs, B1 at least. Uh, the next question is, uh, where is the Moscow Aviation Institute campus located? Alexei? Um, yeah, I think that uh, location of Moscow Aviation Institute is one of our advantages, because uh, we're located uh, in Moscow, not far from the city center, around 30 minutes uh, from Kremlin. It's not far for Moscow. And we have a huge territory with everything uh, what student may need. Uh, everything is here, canteens, classrooms, uh, sport clubs, everything is here. So I think we have a very serious and strong ca campus infrastructure, which you have probably seen in our videos. Uh, and um, the territory is closed and it's uh, much safer because uh, it's not as easy to access to the university. Thank you. And we have two questions about when the program starts and uh, Indian students uh, worry about their exams, which, be, which will held in uh, July, and they will get their results a uh, little later. So the program starts uh, in October 1st. Uh, we understand the current situation that uh, all over the world final school exams or university exams may just move a little to the summer. Uh, it's okay, as program starts in October 1st, you may apply till uh, September, but 
please, if you have uh, just your passport, let's start your admission right now. Send us your passport, your previous uh, certificate, and we, certificates, and we will start your admission. You will pass your exams, you will sign the contract, and then we will just wait your educational documents. Um, as you get it, you will send to us, and we will enroll you as a student. Please don't worry, and uh, let's stay in contact uh, in, uh, by email, and we will discuss every situation that you have. Uh, and uh, now I think that uh, we discuss all um, general questions, and uh, if we missed some questions or you watch our uh, webinar in recording, please feel free to send us your uh, question by email or in WhatsApp and we will help you. Thank you to be here with us today. Thank you for your time. I also want to thank our uh, speakers. Uh, thank you for your participation. And I want to remember that the admission will be opened in June 1st, but you may contact with us right now. Um, we are always ready to help you and to support you and we will be glad if you will be a, if you will become a member of our uh, family thank you so much bye